So I realize uh, I finally get this thing cut, finished. I should probably vlog about it. Uh, the things are done for LARP. M mostly. So this is the vest I was making. It is a duplicate of a black vest that I have presently that I invested a good amount of money on at the time. So it's decent pattern. Um, the top edge is a little wonky. Um, I could probably do for another round of so of steaming. But this is the fabric that I got secondhand from a friend. It's practically giving it away. And then I got a black satin for the underneath. Um, all of this was hand sewn, by the way, because I didn't trust my machine with it. And I got my pretty little silver buttons. I did not actually do the buttonholes yet because I don't know how to do that, and I was sewing up the bottom of this last night at 11.30, so at least it'll be presentable and doable. And I got this really pretty purple lace that's going to go with it. As a shirt I got it. I want to say Ross for like six dollars. Uh, very last minute thing I had to do a couple months ago. And this is the cape. The cape is finished. It is a lot. It is way too much. The beautiful jacquard that I absolutely adore and the three and a half miles of bias tape that I sewed by hand. Thank you very kindly. I really hope people dig this costume because this took me months. Uh, and of course, the collar at the front with the little fastener that I have learned is very evil and likes to eat things that have lace and fishnets on it, um, which is a problem because I took this with me to Halloween as a cape for Frank. And uh, in the middle of trying to record me doing sweet transvestite, I got the hook latched on the back of my fishnets, which is very upsetting. <laughs> um, but that's neither here nor there. Hopefully I will have that video edited for you shortly, but I wanted to get this done while I'm waiting for my ride for LARP. <sighs> my car broke down last week. So I thought I wasn't gonna get to go, which would be very upsetting because I spent three months building all of this stuff. But we're working it out. And I'm going to be doing that today, and I'm waiting for my ride to get off work to come pick me up, and then we'll go do that. Uh, but for now, this is the kit. I mean, it's also going to have, you know, pants. There's black leggings that I wear to game all the time that are super comfortable. Um, and I have, like, you know, theater blacks that I wear underneath for NPC shift and in general. But uh, that is the kit. I say kit, it's two pieces, but I'm really pleased with it. I loved the black rose fabric. I thought that would be great for a vest, and it's something I can use in my everyday wear. It's not something ridiculous that I'm just going to use once and then never see again. A fish islands or something on this. I feel like my forehead is huge. Anyway, the cape, um, like I said, I got to use for Frank, so... I don't know if I'll have other ridiculous reasons to own a cape, but uh, I have one that I made, and I'm quite proud of it, actually. If nothing else, it'll be something nice for the, uh, I don't know, portfolio? What do you costumers call their portfolios? Uh, but that's a thing. I made it. I'm pretty proud of it. I'll hang it up somewhere nice in the new place. But I've been rambling for about three and a half minutes now, so I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, if you're going to Twin Mask, I'll see you there.